In this episode of Motive Garage presented by Spares Box, we get our GR Yaris track ready to go to Challenge Bathurst. The streetcar versus race car argument is one that simply never ends. Not only do different people have different opinions, but different states and different countries have totally different opinions on what is legal and what is not. So we're not going to go down that path. We will say this, for our GR Yaris, street trim is full interior, the factory seats and all, a street legal and usable road tyre on the car and a full exhaust system. But when we go over into race trim, essentially what we're doing with the car is we're making it lighter, so it performs better in every way. Uh, we're putting better rubber on it and we're making the car safer. So how do we do those things? Well, essentially we take out most of the interior, put a race seat in it, put a harness in it, a half cage, uh, we put race wheels with better tyres on it, we put the titanium exhaust on it and then it's ready to go racing at the track. Now we had originally originally planned to put the car into race trim around a month before World Time Attack 2022 as we finalise our development to campaign at that event. But things change, thanks to our friends at Sparesbox, who are one of the major sponsors for Challenge Bathurst coming up very shortly. Now, if you're into cars in Australia, you've heard of Bathurst and you've heard of Mount Panorama, which has one of the world's greatest racetracks carved into the side of it. If you're not from Australia, think of Bathurst as, well, it's our Nürburgring, it's our Spa, it's our Laguna Seca, whatever you want to call it, whatever your best track in your country is, well, this is our premier track and it makes for one hell of an awesome event. But the problem is, it's actually a public road for most of the year and is only closed down a very short amount of time and a very limited amount of times each year for it to be raced on. Our biggest race is the Bathurst 1000 and the Bathurst 12 hour and there's a few other endurance races and some sprints but the big event for enthusiasts is Challenge Bathurst. There is two days of super sprints, two days of regularity and essentially anyone can enter although you do have to get in quick because limited spots. Now with Spares Box being the sponsor of the event, they basically invited us and said, would you like to attend? And I obviously jumped at that and said, of course, but the only car I knew I could get ready in time was our GR Yaris. So I figured we'd better put the car into race trim for the event. And uh, one of the first things we needed to do was get some new rubber. So we rang our friends at Zestino Tires Australia and have it over to Prestige Tire and Auto to get some new circuit rubber for the GR Yaris. So I'm pretty excited to run on the Circuit 07S at Bathurst. I have used these tyres before when Zestino first sent a trial set over to Australia and we used it on the GR Yaris early in its development stage. Well, now they are a permanent fixture in the Zestino Tyres Australia lineup. So that's what we're going to be on. We have no doubt they'll last the entire two days and multiple laps of Bathurst and a great tyre for us to use in the GR Yaris for nice consistent laps in the regularity. The other thing I'm excited about is the fact it's actually my first time doing complete laps of Bathurst. I've been there heaps of times, driven around it when it's a public road, done some sprints and things like that there, but never driven the entire track. Now the guys at Zestino Tires Australia, they thought they'd help me celebrate popping my chariot Bathurst by giving away a set of Zestino tires to one of our viewers. So if you want to win a set of Zestino in the 07 range for your car, simply go to the Prestige Tire and Auto Facebook page, like the page, go to the pinned post or go to the description below and find the link. What we want you to do is post up a picture of whatever car you would take to Challenge Bathurst if you could take any car there and then you also need to tell us which Zestino tyre you would use in what size and the one that gets the most amount of votes you will win a set of Zestino tyres in the 07 range whether that's the Gredge or the Circuit uh, and you can choose what compound and what size to suit your car. It's only open to Australian residents but make sure you share it everywhere, get those votes and you can win yourself a set of 
Zestino tyres to have a go of yourself. So our tyres are sorted to head to Challenge Bathurst. You would have seen in a previous video, we've already done the titanium exhaust. Now we need to get over to Impossible Fabrication, strip out the interior, get the race seat in onto a new rail so we can put an MVP Raceworks six-point harness in. We're going to put the AGI roll cage back in and try and strip out a little bit more weight and get the thing race ready. If you've been watching our series on the GR Yaris, you would have seen that when we put the car on the dyno, the biggest problem that we had was not enough fuel. So Grub and I have put our heads together to try and work out a solution for an aftermarket surge tank and fuel pump for our GR Yaris. So take a look what we came up with. Now I must admit it was pretty cool designing a new fuel system for our GR Yaris. I'm pretty excited to get that sorted. So that's all complete in the car. Now we're going to go drop the car off at Powertune Australia so they can get the electronic side of things sorted for controlling the fuel pumps and get the thing back on the dyno and see if we can get that 320 kilowatts that we got last time all of the time. Well, the Yaris is back at our headquarters after being tuned by the guys at Powertune Australia. We have a totally separate video on how that tuning session went, so you can go back and watch that. Uh, obviously, we're not going to run it around Bathurst on the full 352 kilowatts at the hubs because, well, that's, uh, that's a lot of strain on the car for a lot of laps. So we're going to run the car on approximately 24 to 26 pounder boost, which is from 250 to 270 kilowatts at the front hubs. I've got the laptop with me so I can look at the data after a session, see how the car's going and work out whether we can turn it up a little bit more while we're there because part of us going to the track is obviously getting more data for later. Uh, now that it's here, we've got a few last minute things to do before we head to Challenge Bathurst. Obviously, we're gonna do a quick fluid check, although being a near new car, I doubt it needs to be topped up. Uh, uh, cable ties to secure any vacuum hoses or any loose items and wiring etc. As a quick check over before we go, uh, empty out the interior of the car, make sure there's no loose items. We need to put on the 
uh, Raceworks uh, safety sticker kit, which is basically a battery triangle and tow points. And then we've got Adrian from All Stuck Up coming down to give us some fresh motive and spares box graphics ready for this weekend. So let's do our last minute prep and head to Bathurst, shall we?